Hi, I'm Melanie from Nova Scotia, Canada, and this is Adventures in Groceryland. This is week 13 and the final week of the $23 grocery budget challenge of 2024. The challenge started in January. I allowed myself $23 cash max each week and carried forward any groceries uh, or supplies that I didn't eat during the week for subsequent weeks to show that on a very small budget, you can slowly accumulate a pantry and also eat well at the same time. The challenge is gonna change slightly. Um, starting October, not October, April the 1st, ha, April Fools. Starting April 1st, I am going to have access to everything in the house. So that is gonna be midway through week 13. And then moving forward, we are slowly going to start purging um, items that we have had existing um, in our house supplies. I don't know 100% if I'm gonna do a total pantry purge with a no budget if it's going to be a low budget i'm kind of going to figure that out along the way um, but we have to start merging um, the house supplies then thanks so much everybody for following along uh, a couple things for this week um, it's the week of easter so we had company over uh, one week we provided some of the supplies they brought some supplies um, just kind of when you do for a get together uh, we are going to family for Easter supper on one of the evenings. So we'll be away from home. I'm going to try to take a picture of the meal, but there probably won't be a video. And we actually spent one of the gift certificates that we got for Christmas this year. And we ate out one night because it was a long weekend, Easter weekend, and um, it was really nice to be able to eat out. Thanks everybody. And uh, check out the groceries that I got this week. Oh, I spent some PC optimum points. So I spent the $23. I redeemed some PC Optimum points and I also redeemed some fast fuel coupons. Um, I do have PC Optimum points left and I also have some fast fuel coupons left. So I didn't even spend everything. Happy Easter. Starting this week, I have a carry forward of 52 cents a cash that I didn't spend last week. And this fast fuel coupon was from before but I spent a lot of my my coupons and then accumulated over the last week and a half I have a dollar 69 that I this was a found coupon and this was a found coupon and this is my gas and this one is my gas so one dollar and 69 cent found 353 mine two dollars and five cents found and 246 mine so I have $23.52 cash and uh, two, five, seven, eight, just over $9 worth of fast fuel coupons to work with if I choose to. I also have $40 worth of PC optimum points and no scene points. Um, I haven't bumped back up. I do have some, but I haven't bumped back up over the quantity I need to redeem. One more to add into the stash, $1.68. Um, the handsome one had this one in his pocket and forgot to give it to me. I'm at Sobeys and seeing a cart of reduced produce here is, is new to me, unusual. So there's apples, those are on for $1.49, a couple different bags of those. I think someone just put those onions there, I don't think. Those are supposed to be there, no. But then down here, we've got potatoes, $1.49. There's marked down bananas. Um, this is quite interesting. And the handsome one actually asked me for apples this week, so I am gonna get a bag of these. I came in to get townhouse crackers that were on sale at Walmart for $2.47, because I thought that was the cheapest, um, the cheapest crackers on sale this week in the flyer. And then I see that Crunchets or cheese cheese it's dollar ninety seven triscuits triscuits all kinds of different triscuits we got nibs topables wheat thins Swiss cheese all of these all of those are all on for dollar ninety seven so I changed my mind now it just to pick out which ones. I'm at Superstore and I am going to spend some of my PC Optimum points. We 
are having company this weekend. Uh, it's the holiday, so the holidays, things kind of go out the window. And I don't know about you guys, but in general, I like to save my points and save them up for like big events, whether it is Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, um, whether it's a big family barbecue that we're doing in the summer. I often like to save them and hoard them and really make impactful purchases in big quantities. Of course, you guys have seen me spend them like trickling $10 here, $10 there, but I have up to $40 that I can spend today. I'm going to go in and take a look. I do have a couple things in mind that I would like to get, um, but we're going to spend some points. Holidays are here. Cheese is on sale. PC brand cheese. You can never go wrong redeeming for cheese. I might get a package of, of that. There's so many salad toppers, cheddar with habanero, feta, three cheese blend. What's this? This is shredded stretch pizza mozzarella provolone and parmesan. And then down here, a couple more. And on the bottom, so many options. Might be a good, good Thing to redeem points for. The Black Diamond is on for the same price as the PC. And with the Black Diamond, I could use Dairy Farmers of Canada $1 off coupon. Interestingly enough, the PC brand does not use um, Dairy Farmers of Canada quality milk. So I wonder what kind of milk they're using and where it's from. So this might be a better option. So you already know that week 13 is unique and that it is the last week that I am spending $23. This is the last week of the $23 challenge as it stands. And moving forward as of April 1st, so that's going to be midway through, uh, midway through week 13, I'm going to have full access to everything in the house, my entire pantry, my freezers, my spices, yay, that's super exciting. Anything that I already have in the house, I'll have full access to as of April 1st. This week, I, I really wanted to buckle down, um, redeem those coupons, redeem the points, um, really be smart about some of the things that I was going to buy and get some treats, some things that we really wanted but we haven't really been spending our our money or our budget in that way i shopped at sobeys foodland superstore giant tiger bargain harleys yes that's it um let's get started first of all with the groceries so i shopped at sobeys uh, $3.99 for the frozen fruit, a dollar, and I got blueberries, and it is a 600 gram pack. That will be great. Um, getting us back into some smoothies and blueberries is something totally different uh, than any of the fruit or the jams that we've been using uh, on the challenge, so that, that will give variety. And the handsome one wanted some apples, so I got apples, and they were $1.49. I also shopped at Giant Tiger, $2.77 for this Carver's Choice Bacon. And I am going to need that as an ingredient in the baked beans that I'm going to be making. So I bought these Webster's Farms, Jacob's Cattle Beans. So this is my primary choice of bean. Webster's Farm is a wonderful local company. Um, and they are my favorite choice for beans when I am making baked beans. So it's Easter weekend, obviously. I'm going to be making baked beans and I'm going to be using some of the bacon in it. Those were $2.99 at Foodland. And then I did a redemption of some fast fuel coupons at Foodland. I bought the Green Giant Valley Pasta Frozen Veggie Medley. I got the Tropicana um, Grapefruit Juice. Like I've been really digging the grapefruits and so I'm going to be digging the grapefruit juice. It was on sale for $3.99 and it had a 50% off tag. So I brought it down to $1.99. And I got some Armstrong Tex-Mex cheese. This is a blend of Monterey Jack with jalapenos, mild cheddar, and pizza mozzarella. This was $4.99 and I had a $1.50 Armstrong Manufacturers coupon. 
once it was all said and done and I redeemed my fast fuel coupons, you will see at the bottom here I have circled my cost out of pocket was 21 cents. Pretty phenomenal. I shopped at Giant Tiger purchasing the pasta, $1.25. So those were two different shops, um, two different times that I was in there, two different flyers. I also shopped at Superstore and paid out of pocket for these sausages. And you can see I've already popped them into the freezer. Chorizo sausages, and they were $6.99, 50% off. So I got them for $3.49. Just going to skip this middle stuff here for a second. I'm going to go to Dollarama. I mustard, $1.50. I was back to Bargain Harley's. So one more jar of pickles because that's just a crazy, that's a very good buy. And very first thing my mother asked me is, where were these pickles made? Apparently that's a big thing now. Where were the pickles made? This Vlasic, these are... Um, this is a company out of the U.S. and the Vlasic Pickles, they're actually made in the U.S. So my mom was happy about that. And then I got the Classico um, Spicy Tomato and Parmesan Pasta Sauce, 99 cents. That's just a little bit of a different kind of sauce, not one that I normally buy. Um, so I'm excited about that. So now on to my redemption at Superstore. I redeemed $20 worth of points. Got lots of good deals. You see lots of markdown tags. So that was really good. I got a pumpkin pie. It was on for $5.99 minus 50% off. Brought it down to $2.99. The bagels. Um, we actually have really been enjoying having the English muffins for breakfast. Uh, just having something like that is very easy. Toast it, peanut butter or jam, and you're done. Um, these Blue Menu English Muffins were $4.49, so at 50% off, they were $2.25. Grapes happened to be in the flyer, so they were on in the flyer for $2.49. I actually got um, a really, I feel, decent buy on them. They were $2.53, so I thought that was a, a smart use um, to get some fruit. We got the donuts. Uh, you can see the little tag on the top there. They were $4.99, marked down to $2.50. I got the sugar snap peas. They were $8.99, so that marked down to $4.50. I got some more cheese, and this one's tacos and nachos. This is a also a blend of Monterey Jack, um, cheddar, and pizza mozzarella. And this was on for $4.88, and I was able to use a $1 manufacturer's coupon to get it down to $3.88. So altogether, all of these came to $20.86. I redeemed $20 worth of points, and I ended up paying $0.86 cents out of pocket. One final item was the crackers. I got the crackers for $1.99 at Walmart, and we're going to be using those when the company... Um, comes over this weekend. Pretty excited about all of these groceries. And we're going to be using some of these before the first when I have access to everything in the house. But some of these items, like we didn't have, we didn't have these anyways. Like I didn't have any apples. I didn't have grapes, um, no sugar snap peas. So I, I'm excited just to have these items in general. And then some of the rest of them are going to be um, for one of the Easter dinners that we're having. So baked beans and bacon. And I have other um, ingredients that will go with those. Actually, the mustard is going in with them as well. And, and I have other um, ingredients that I sourced last week. So this works out great. I think this is quite a lot. Thanks so much for following along on the challenge. Um, I hope you tune in for the last meal video uh, coming up in say four days, that'll be released. And I hope you stay tuned for what's to come for the future. Thanks, everybody.